Welcome to our lesson on interpreting distance time graphs. So here we have a travel graph of a 120 kilometer care journey. And we're asked to work out how much time it took to reach the destination. So you can see at this point, the car is at home because it has zero distance away. And as time increases, the distance is increasing from home. And at this point, the distance from home is constant, which means it has reached its destination. And this took two hours. You can see that one hour was spent at the destination, because this line here has no change in distance. And for part C, at which point in the journey was the car travelling fastest? You can see this is the steepest line, which means it is covering the distance quickest. So this is part C. So this is between one and two hours. And for part D, suggest an explanation for a change in speed on the return journey. You can see in this line, the change in speed is slower than this line because it is less steep. And this could be explained by congested traffic. Okay. Let's try another question. So this graph shows Sarah's journey to the shop. Do you want to try and work out questions A, B, C and D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So you can see at this point she's at home and as the time increases she's moving away from home so she's travelling to the shop. She reaches the shop at this point because here she then begins her journey back and this is 11 minutes into the journey. For part B, on her way to the shop, Sarah stopped to speak to her friend. How far had she travelled at this point? So as she sets off from home, you can see this point, the distance is constant. So at this point, she is talking to her friend here, which is six minutes. And at this point, she resumes her journey to the shop, which is eight minutes and at this point she has traveled approximately 0.25 kilometers for part c explain what might have occurred at point f so at this point she begins her journey home and then she stops for less than a minute before she continues and you could say at this point she was stopped by some traffic lights and finally for question d was her pace quicker or slower on her way home well, it took 11 minutes to get to the shop and it took 6 minutes to get back from the shop. So the pace was quicker on our way home. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.